has seen Cesario Bot status report. Step back for a moment, Cesario Bot. Cesario Bot obeys rolling. Oh, I'm sorry, Mia. I did it again, didn't I? Let's try again from the beginning. Duke Bite raising one hand with. Again? Oh, I'm so sorry, Mia. I know I told you that I'd help you practice your lines for 12th bite, but reading this play is confusing. I can't tell which words I'm supposed to read and which I'm not. I guess I'm just not meant to be an actor like you. Oh, you're right, Mia. That isn't very growth-minded of me. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe we can learn about the different dramatic elements in our lesson today. That way, I can run lines with you, and our friends at home will understand their reading of Twelfth Night better. What do you think? Oh, great! Before we begin, let's reflect. In your PDF, respond to this question. Reflect on a time in your life when understanding the rules or directions of something was important. Why might understanding the directions of a play be important for an actor? Pause this video here and resume when you're ready to move on. I'm excited to dive into the world of drama. Let's get started. In today's lesson, we will prepare to read Twelfth Night by studying the key elements of dramatic literature. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to develop an understanding of elements of drama, including characters, dialogue, and stage directions. And we will preview our reading for this week, Act 1 of Twelfth Night. Let's jump right into our dramatic elements. Before we can dive into the elements of drama, it's important that we have a shared understanding of what drama is. In the world of literature, drama is defined as a genre of literature that is intended to be performed by actors on stage. Pause this video here and write that definition in your PDF. Resume once you're ready. The key difference between drama and other genres of literature is that dramas lack narration. Because dramas are meant to be performed, their stories are told through the characters and their actions and dialogue. These also align with the three key elements of drama. Characters, dialogue, and stage directions. In your PDF, you'll find a copy of Mia's play, Twelfth Bite. As we review these elements, take note of each of their definitions and annotate the play to help you recognize each of these features. Let's get started! Our first dramatic element is character. Characters are the individuals in a drama played by the actors. Pause this video and write that definition in your PDF. Resume when you're ready to move on. Characters in drama, just like in other forms of literature, each have their own personalities, desires, and conflicts. These help to shape the story. Characters in dramas show up in two ways. The first in what is called a dramatis personae. This is a list of characters with brief descriptions located at the front of a play. This helps the casting director identify the parts of the play that they need to cast. In the actual text of a play, character names appear in all capital letters before their lines. When performing a play, character names are not spoken out loud. Instead, they indicate which character is speaking the following lines. In your copy of Twelfth Byte, underline any characters that you see. Pause this video here and resume when you are ready to move on. Our next dramatic element is dialogue. Dialogue is the spoken words of the characters. Pause the video and write that definition in your PDF. Resume when you're ready to move on. 
In plays, dialogue is the only element of the script that is actually spoken aloud by the actors. Because of this, dialogue is the primary driver of both the plot and themes in a drama. In drama, you can recognize dialogue as the lines that appear under character names in regularly styled text. In other words, dialogue in a script generally looks like the most normal text. It is not italicized or in parentheses, and it follows standard capitalization rules. In your copy of Twelfth Byte, put a star next to any lines of dialogue that you see. Pause this video here and resume when you're ready to move on. Our final element is a component that is completely unique to drama. Stage directions. Stage directions are written instructions in a play that describe how it should be performed, including actors' movements and actions. Pause this video and write that definition in your PDF. Resume when you're ready to move on. Stage directions are unique to the genre of drama because it is the only genre that is written to be performed rather than simply read. Stage directions might tell an actor what emotion they should be displaying when saying a line, or they might tell them how to interact with another character. They also state when a character enters or exits a scene, and they are never spoken. Stage directions can appear anywhere in the script, including at the beginning and ends of scenes and in the middle of dialogue. Stage directions can be recognized by looking for writing that is in italics. If you see something italicized in a script, those are likely stage directions. The key point to remember is that stage directions tell the actor what to do, while dialogue tells them what to say. In your copy of Twelfth Byte, circle any stage directions that you see. Pause this video here and resume when you are ready to move on. Wow, Mia! I feel so much more prepared to help you read your lines now. Yes, let's quickly preview Twelfth Night to prepare for our reading for this week and then we will get back to practice. Picture this, England in the late 1500s and early 1600s, the famous Globe Theatre, bustling streets of London, and the sound of laughter filling the air. Twelfth Night was written around 1601, during a time when Shakespeare was at the peak of his creative genius. This play is one of his most beloved comedies, and was written to be performed as a close to the Christmas celebrations, which lasted 12 days in Shakespeare's time. Hence the name, Twelfth Night. But let's talk about the play itself. Twelfth Night is set in the magical land of Illyria. After a shipwreck separates a pair of twins, a whirlwind of mistaken identities, unreciprocated love, and mischief ensues. And remember, this is a comedy, so expect lots of laughs and unexpected twists. I'm so excited to dive into this classic tale. This week we will read Act 1 of Twelfth Night while also learning more about the elements and structures of drama. Don't forget to complete the reflection question in your PDF once this video is finished. Well, that's all for today's lesson. Farewell, literary adventurers! Read, write, and inspire! Hey.